hearty welcome to Anatomy Compact. Now with the elbow joint. First, we want to discuss the bones involved in the elbow joint. There are three bones involved in the elbow joint, or articulatio cubiti. The humerus, the ulna, and the radius. The elbow joint is a swivel hinge joint. That means it can facilitate flexion and extension, as well as pronation and supination. The elbow joint consists of three semi-joints, which lie together in a mutual joint capsule. Firstly, the articulatio humeral ulnaris, formed by the trochlea humeri and the incisura trochlearis ulnae. This semi-joint is a typical hinge joint. The olecranon ulnae prevents overstretching of the elbow joint and is thus an example of bone constriction. The second semi-joint is the articulatio humeroradialis, composed of the capitulum humeri and the caput radii. Anatomically, this semi-joint is structurally a ball joint. However, no lateral movement is possible due to the tight attachment of the radius to the ulna. Finally, in the third semi-joint, the articulatio radio ulnaris proximalis. The circumferentia articularis radii slides in the legamentum annulari radii like a wheel. Especially in small children, the radius head can slip out of the ligamentum annulae radii when the lower arm is yanked strongly. Now, let's discuss the most important muscles in the elbow joint. The most important flexors in the elbow joint are the musculus biceps brachii, the musculus brachialis lying underneath it, and the musculus brachioradialis. The musculus biceps brachii and the musculus brachialis are inverted by the nervous musculocutaneus. The musculus biceps brachii has another important function as the strongest supinator in the bent elbow joint. Furthermore, it is the segment indicating muscle for the myelomere C6 spinal cord segment. It is tested in the so-called biceps tendon reflex by striking the bicep tendon in the bend of the elbow. The musculus brachioradialis is one of the three muscles from the radial muscle group of the underarm innervated by the nervus radialis. It stretches from the crista supracondylaris lateralis to the distal radius end. Apart from flexion, it can also contribute to pronation or supination depending on the position of the joint. The musculus brachioradialis is one of the three muscles from the radial muscle group of the underarm, inverted by the nervus radialis. It stretches from the crista supracondylaris lateralis humeri to the distal radius end. Apart from flexion, it can also contribute to pronation or supination depending on the position of the joint. The strongest extensor in the elbow joint is the musculus triceps brachii. This muscle stretches to the olecranon ulnae. As all extensors in the upper and underarm, 
the musculus triceps brachii is inverted by the nervus radialis. Furthermore, it is the segment indicating muscle for the Mjellmer C7 spinal cord segment. The triceps tendon reflex is tested by striking the triceps tendon just above the elbow. Loss of the extensors means the arm can neither be supported nor held up. More fatal, however, is the loss of the flexors, because almost all movements of the hand require a flexion in the underarm. Now we come to supination. As indicated, the musculus biceps brachii is the strongest supinator in the bent elbow joint. The simplest example for its function is the screwing in of a screw with a screwdriver. When the elbow is straight, the muscular supinator is the strongest supinator. With its two heads, this muscle stretches from the epicondylus lateralis humeri and from the ulnae to the front and lateral surfaces of the proximal radius. Hypertrophy of this muscle can pinch the ramus profundus of the nervus radialis that runs through the muscle. That is called the supinator syndrome. In this supinator syndrome, all surface and deep extensors in the underarm become lame, leading to impairment of the stretching of the fingers in particular. The most important pronators are the musculus pronator teres and the musculus pronator quadratus. With its two heads, the muscle stretches from the epicondylus medialis humeri and from the processus coronoideus ulnae to the medial third of the radius. The nervus medianus runs between the two heads of the musculus pronator teres and can there be pinched. This is called the pronator teres syndrome, with a typical clinical indication of a monkey hand when trying to close the fist. The musculus pronator quadratus stretches here distally on the underarm from the front surface area of the ulnae to the front surface area of the radius.